In 1969, two groups of scientists, one Russian, the other German, report on the discovery of a major phenomenon in particle physics, the ultra-cold neutron. A neutron with low energy, capable of bouncing off matter, and therefore, of being stored and observed over long periods. What made this discovery so important? Well, it gave scientists the chance to characterize the neutron more accurately as an elementary particle making up matter. And this led to a better understanding of how the universe was created, of how the sun works, and of gravity. Scientists started devising new experiments, and in 1999, an international team of scientists made another discovery. When placing ultra-cold neutrons on a horizontal, highly polished mirror, they could see different quantic states. Since then, they have realized that they can make neutrons change from one quantic state to another by making the mirror vibrate at the right frequency. When checking which frequencies correspond to which quantic state, scientists made another surprising discovery. They are very close to the frequencies of the notes in a musical scale. Which means that if you make the membrane of a speaker vibrate at these frequencies, you get a C, D or E. So let's celebrate the 50th anniversary of the discovery of ultra-cold neutrons together in music.